This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 40. And it reads, O my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Kalalayim, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yawashai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kordash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one of who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwa, the listening, listening, and learning, in sincerity and in truth, and in silence, Shalom. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp, here in Toronto with another lesson. We'll get right into it. I want to open with the scripture and then read the, read the news article. Second Ezra 16 verse 40. And it reads, O my people, O my people, right? Whose people? Yahweh B'Shem Shai, his people, Israelites, Israel being a people before a place. Hear my word, make you ready to the battle, right? Hear my word, which is in the scriptures. Make you ready to the battle, right? These scriptures get you ready for the times that are coming, man. The battle, the time of Jacob's trouble, a time like no other. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be, shall be the stability of thy times. Right? Paraphrasing. Right? These scriptures, it'll be a stable, those, those, of the elect, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we are of that number, will be of stable mind in that day, man. The time that's coming. And in those evils, evils meaning bad times, right? The time of Jacob's trouble, time like no other. Horrific judgments going out. Be even as pilgrims upon the earth, right? Pilgrims, ready to move. Okay? This article came out on a... CNBC CNBC News came out this morning, July twentieth, twenty twenty-two. The year of Yahweh B'Shem Yahshai turning up. And the title here says: Mortgage demand drops to a twenty-two year low as higher interest rates and inflation crush home buyers. Right, this place is done. right. This place is done. And 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 this is spiritual because um, I was having a conversation. With uh, uh, an acquaintance in the world, man, right? And they said that uh, a friend of theirs uh, is no longer a friend of theirs. Cannot renew the their mortgages up for renewal on their home, and they can't renew it because the interest rate the 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 interest rate the interest rate hikes that have taken place have now put their rate their monthly payment a thousand dollars more per month than what it is right now this 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 very minute and they're shopping the shopping trying to renew their mortgage and they can't and their current term soon is going to expire soon and they can't renew it because the rates are too high they can't afford to keep the home right and then that that conversation was this morning and then while scrolling through news articles this 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 uh this article popped up it says here surging inflation and interest rates are hammering american consumers and weighing on the housing markets mortgage demand fell last week hitting the lowest point since 2000 according to the mortgage mortgage bankers association buyers have lost considerable purchasing purchasing power right because the dollar's worth shit right now man this dollar this dollar don't this fiat currency is falsely propped up man there's no purchasing power in the greenbacks, man. Right? That's why there's inflation. That's why it's going to be $10, $12, $13. We'll see it. $14, a loaf of bread. We're going to see it. Buyers have lost considerable purchasing power at, at, as rates have almost doubled since earlier this year. Right? This place is done, man. Right? We'll just read this opening sentence and we'll go into the scripture. 
The pain in the mortgage market is only getting worse as higher interest rates and inflation hammer American, American consumers, right? This place. And it's going to continue to increase. Let's go into the scriptures, man. Right? Babylon the Great, America the Great. Right? Second Ezra 16, verse 40. Oh, my people hear my word. These scriptures, this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding. And how does this word go out? How is this word heard? Through the mouth of the prophets. The word of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Through the mouth through the mouths of the prophets. Make you ready to the battle. This is what will get you ready for the times that are coming. This truth. And in those evils, bad times, be even as pilgrims upon the earth, be ready to lose it all. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. Right, your, your mind, us in this truth, the hopeful elect. Lord willing, we're of that number, the elect, the hopeful elect. Right, because we don't know. We hope to be of that number. Right, spiritually detached from this place. You know that whether you own a business, you own a shop, you're, you're, you're using the word, you're using the world as not abusing it, navigating, getting your daily bread. You know that all of this is going to be done away with, man. All of this is going to perish. All of this is going to be burned like stubble. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. Fleeth away means to run away. Be prepared to be, be, be in your spiritually, us in this truth. We know that at any minute now, we're going to have to walk away from all of this. Esau's kingdom. Esau's uh, 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 perks, Esau's uh, 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 trinkets, Esau's possessions. And he that buyeth as one that will lose, right? He that buyeth as one that, that will lose, right? None of, none of this is going to matter in that day, man. The day that's coming, right? You have these, you have these uh, WEF mantras saying you will own nothing and be happy. Right? This thing is being crashed. Right? Ultimately going to lead into the grain of rice. The Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. The seed to the hip. He that occupieth merchandise as he that had no, as he that had no profit by it. Right? He that occupieth merchandise. You know? You may, you, you, you may be a merchant. You may be a small business, big business, mom and pops, pizza shop, whatever it may be. Uh, all of it is going to be of no profit. Right? Look, it said, it said here, he, he, and he that buyeth is one that will lose. People are about to lose their homes and they're going to bug out. Right? They're, gonna, they're about to lose something physical, something they've worked their whole lives for in most cases. Right? They're going to bug out. Because they're not in that spirit, they're not in the spiritual mindset. They're not looking for and hastening the coming of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. And he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein, right? He that buildeth. Right? There's people breaking ground. There's stories of China. People gave their first 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 payment towards breaking ground on a new on a new on a new home. And uh some of these builders are going bankrupt, man. So what does that what what does that leave the buyer? Where does that leave the buyer? Shit out of luck. Verse forty three: He that soweth soweth means to plant, as he salakia as if he should not reap, not gonna harvest. So also he that planteth the vineyard, as he that shall not gather the grapes, right? This listen, nothing, the, everything physical, carnal, property, portfolio, stocks, bonds, right? So as also also as so also he that planted the vineyard, right? These 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 people out here. Oh, I got this portfolio. I got a little in energy, a little in uh, 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 commodities. I got a little in a, 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 a hard assets, right? It says here, so also he that planted the vineyard, right? That's them planting people, people buying stocks and and and, and building their portfolio. They they they're they're on that three year, four year, five year plan, ten year plan. Oh, it's gonna mature. I'm gonna get it in ten years, right? That's them planting for the future, right? So also he that planted the vineyard, 
as he that shall not gather the grapes, right? None of that's going to come to fruition, man. We're in the last days, man. You're not going to gather. They that marry as they that they that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers, right? That's the mindset you got to be in, man. It doesn't it doesn't mean neglect your wife, abuse your wife, starve your children. It don't mean none of that, man. It just means the mindset you're gonna be you you, you got to be in, man. This is all gonna fade away. Yeah, how should I come in a wreck shop, man? Judge and make war. Bleeding up into that, all hell gonna break loose. Mass starvation, mass death, mass death, mass home losses, foreclosures. And therefore, they that labor, right, go to work, punch that clock, Esau's clock, labor in vain. You're laboring in vain, man. You're laboring in vain. All this is going to come to naught. All of it. Right, but it takes faith. Because you, you tell this to two-thirds. They can't see it. You know, they're still trusting in uh, Esau's kingdom. Right? They still have uh, faith in this thing, man. Right? Let's get a scripture. Hebrews 11. Verse 13, and it reads, These all died in faith, right? Our forefathers. They died having faith, man. They died in faith, right? Not having received the promises, right? They never received none of it, man. Moses didn't walk into the promised land, man. But having seen them afar off, seen them afar off, man. All our forefathers, uh, eyes are on the kingdom. Eyes are on the kingdom. Right? Didn't the disciples ask you how was shy when he rose from the dead? Will that will thou now to restore the kingdom to Israel? Roughly paraphrasing. Acts 1 verse 6, if I'm not mistaken. Right? That's the faith. And we're persuaded, and we're persuaded of them, and embrace them, right? Persuaded by the, the 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 promises, embrace the promises, and confess that there were strangers and pilgrims on the earth, right? There's this is not our rest. Right, this is not our rest. Isaiah thirty, two things where people going to um, perish in this thing, man. Isaiah 30 verse Isaiah 30 verse 12 and it reads wherefore thus saith the holy one of Israel because ye despise this word you two thirds you don't want to hear it you want to continue doing as thou wilt you want to continue in sin upon sin right and trust in oppression America the great Babylon the great trust in their oppression man their money system their banking system their 401k their their PhD, their 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 education. You can own a house with a picket fence. All of that's about to crumble. We're reading it. We're reading it. No foreclosures are gonna take place. Right? A lot of foreclosures are gonna take place. Look at this. Right? And one rec records are gonna continue to get smashed. Isaiah 30 verse 12. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word. Right, you despise this truth, you two thirds, and trust in oppression. Right, you trust in Babylon the Great, America the Great, the shadow of Egypt, and perverseness, and stay thereon. Right, you're in it. You trust it. You you you're willing to die for it, man. Verse thirteen. Therefore, this iniquity, sin upon sin, shall shall be to you as a breach, ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall. Right, a breach ready to fall, like a like a like a like a like a dam. About to burst. Whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Right? Suddenly, man. Scripture says suddenly in, 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 thy, in thy securities. Right? And people still out here on autopilot thinking this thing going to turn around, going to get better. Verse 14. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potters. Right? This, this kingdom going to be broken, man. 
as the breaking of the potters, right? It's financial system going to break like shards of glass, like earthen vessels, like clay, like clay, cl clay cups and pots. Right? And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces. Right? You break you break those potter's vessels, those clay bowls, earthen pitchers. They break they break up into shards. That's gonna be the financial system, the mortgage system, the ho the housing bubble. It's gonna break like that, man. He shall not spare, right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not gonna spare. America the Great, Babylon the Great. Right, and two thirds of our people gonna perish along with it. So that there so that there so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it assured to take fire from the earth, right? It's gonna be completely destroyed, man. Uh, uh, assured meaning, you know, uh burning embers in a fire pit. You're not gonna have a piece of these earthen vessels to even scoop up some of these some of these coals, these burning these burning embers from a fire pit, man. Right? That's what this is saying. So that there shall not be found in the bursting of it assured to take fire from the earth or to take water with all out of the pit, right? Or to take water. These the, the way the the way this system gonna crash, nothing nothing's gonna be left. Right? And two thirds places trust in Babylon the Great Man. Y'all need to repent. Shalom.